If you've ever wondered why heart disease is the number one killer of Americans, well, here's three things that you can do if you definitely want to pass away or suffer a heart attack or a stroke, okay? So the first thing that if we want to have a heart attack or stroke, one thing I would consume a lot of is vegetable oils or seed oils. What has been found is the seed oils or vegetables like corn oil or peanut oil, safflower oil, cotton seed oil, canola oil, all of these are highly, highly processed, creating massive amounts of inflammation in the blood vessels. When there starts to be a massive amount of inflammation in the blood vessels, that's when you'll have cholesterol start sticking to that injury. You see how it works is that's going to say you have a, a blood vessel right here, okay? So you have a blood vessel and the the bad fats, what that's going to do is that's going to create a crack. It's going to create a bleed in the artery or vessel. Well, just like if you get scratched on your skin, there's going to be a scab to stop the bleeding. The same thing happens on the inside. Only instead of a scab, you have a, a piece of cholesterol stick and cover that gap to stop the bleed. Well, let's go ahead and say that we have a lifestyle that is filled with processed foods, foods from a box, a can, or a window, and you have all these foods on a, on a daily or weekly basis. You're going to have chronic inflammation inside of your blood vessel, and there's going to be slowly more and more and more cholesterol building a plaque onto your blood vessel. So if we want to suffer from heart attack or stroke, I would absolutely have massive amount of seed oils and vegetable oils in my diet. The second thing that I would incorporate into my lifestyle is carbs, lots of carbohydrates, a lot of breads, a lot of bagels, chips, sandwiches, pasta, lasagna. What has happened is the, the wheat or the grains that we eat today are completely different than they were 50, even 100 years ago. They've changed it to have higher yields, so our body doesn't even recognize it. What's going to happen is we have a lot of processed grains that's going to spike our blood sugar, which again causes damage to our blood vessels. What's going to happen is that chronic inflammation is going to cause chronic vasoconstriction or a tightening of the blood vessels. That's going to decrease blood flow to the legs, which means you're going to have puffy legs at the end of the day. You're going to have brain fog because your brain is a very, very thirsty organ when it comes to blood. It needs a lot of energy. It's going to start constricting the blood vessels. It's going to start constricting blood vessels to your arms and to your lungs and to your, the rest of your body keeping it in the fight and flight mode. So you're going to have chronic, long-term, low blood flow to your entire body. Now, the third thing that I would recommend if we want to have high amounts of, of risk for, for heart attacks or stroke is cut down on the meat. Cut down on the kinds of healthy meat that we're out even probably go vegan or vegetarian, actually, if I really wanted to play my cards right and have a heart attack and stroke, is I would have seed oils, I would have lots of carbs, and I would uh, simply stray away from all animal proteins. If we have a healthy if we have a healthy animal and we eat it, like we eat the muscle tissue or maybe even we go so far as having some of the organ meat, we have the, the liver or the heart that is jam-packed with fat-soluble vitamins. Fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E, and K. And when we look at what are the vitamins that are most potent at decreasing inflammation, improving our brain power, decreasing the overall inflammation in our body, increasing energy, allowing us to sleep all the way through the night. It's those major vitamins. What vitamins are the major ones at preventing cancer? It's those fat-soluble vitamins. And when we have a healthy animal, those proteins, those muscle meats, the organ meats are jam-packed with those vitamins and minerals. So you can see how when, when I go ahead and see a client personally, and they are vegan or vegetarian, mostly what that means is they eat a lot of carbs, a lot of fake meat, which is absolutely saturated with unhealthy fats, they're high carbs, and they don't eat any meat. So some of the vegetarians or vegans that I see in my clinic are some of the most unhealthy people that I see ever. And if we want to have a society that is picture perfect, let's all die of a heart attack and stroke, let's have food that is saturated with unhealthy fats, high seed oils, have a diet that's high in carbs, high in sugar, and let's go ahead and eat lots of, uh, or let's make it popular to 
to eat less meat and the meat that we do consume is filled with unhealthy animals. So I hope this was helpful. The cut out. So what should you do? Exactly the opposite, obviously. Read the ingredients list. Does it have canola oil, soybean oil, vegetable oil, peanut oil, any seed oils? Put it away. You don't need that kind of inflammation causing bleeds in your arteries. You don't need it. Carbs, drastically cut back on your carbs. Don't even worry about going gluten-free at this point. Just simply take the amount of carbohydrates that you're eating, cut it in half, you're going to notice a huge difference and start eating some wild uh, wild meats, some game meats like elk or venison or even wild boar, grass-fed beef, grass-finished beef, uh, you know, uh, wild-caught fish are excellent sources of healthy proteins at getting those fat soluble vitamins inside your body decreasing inflammation improving the overall quality of life i hope that this was helpful my name is dr forrest sour i shoot these videos because there's enough people that are fat sick and depressed and i don't want you to be one of them so i'll chat with you guys soon